so delighted to have Bill Burr back with us. He's got a huge show coming up at Fenway on August 21. First comedian ever to headline at Fenway, but lives out here in Los Angeles, a Massachusetts boy way out here in the sunshine. Yeah, I was too phony for him. They, they shipped me out here. They sent me out to Hollywood to uh, do whatever I could do out here. And now we're in the beautiful confines of Anaheim, California. Yes. Don't you love this place? Uh, I love it. Really, it really gets your heart going, doesn't it? <laughs> it's just something about all those strip malls next to strip malls. They do have a nice mall down here with a Ferris wheel. That's the exciting thing. <laughs> kind of do that. I used to hate doing this gig down here. I used to sit in like like three hours of traffic trying to get down here, just wanting to kill yourself every time. And then you had to go on stage and like make people laugh. You're like, are you ready? At the beginning, I hated the gig. Hated it. But anyway, this is the type of positivity you can expect <laughs> on August 21st. How about the Red Sox? Last time I was here, we were playing horribly. Yes. Horribly. April was a bad month. Right when I got the MLB package. They just could not <laughs> win a game, and I watched them every single night. <laughs> just about. And you saw all those walk-offs. So the all first thing you said when you came to the booth was like, what was it, five times? Said, yeah, it was five times. Five oh, times in like six it. weeks. Yeah, yeah, the second we went in there was just like, all right, well, they're not winning this one. <laughs> what do you think of that DH rule in the National League? I think that's terrible. You like the split? You'd rather have it? You like pitchers hitting? Yeah. It keeps them honest. Back in the day when they used to throw it, guys, they, they had to still go up to the plate. I don't know. I, I, I feel like all sports are kind of doing that thing where they're, they're, they're like a slave to uh, offense. Got to make it more exciting for the casual fan. Well, so to your point, though, nobody throws at anybody anymore anyway. So there's nothing yeah, to Yeah, I don't keep understand why people get so mad when they throw. It's always been a part of the game. And the way people celebrate, I'm surprised they don't throw at every other guy's head that's going up there, at least for the way when I was... Dude, when we were coming up, you hit a home run, you put your head down, you ran around the bases, or else the next guy was going to get hit. Now it's, uh, I don't know what it is. They go up there like they're, they're in Braveheart with all the armor on. <laughs> Mars taking one inside. Hanging, oh, hanging over the plate. Sorry, can, I'm talking through the, all of this. No, but can I get your thought on, uh, obviously the NBA Finals are, are ongoing. We've had two games. I know you're watching every single minute of that. And there's a lot of talk as Marsh... It's a fly ball to left for out number two about the officiating after game number two going against the Celtics and, and you're, you're on record saying the NBA is low level rigged. The it's massaged. Massaged. It's, it's sort of they don't they don't determine who's going to win. Managed. Right. It is. Yeah. It's a show. It's Course a show. And it's, yes. It's yes. So you knew whoever went up one nothing was not getting calls in game two because they want it to go seven and I just feel the level of control I actually I, I decide I, I realized yesterday in game two I don't have the emotional maturity to watch my team in the finals in front of my kids <laughs> is that a ball there you go sorry I want to talk over the no game no it's here. good it's no up. it's hard though it is it's hard it, it, it really can ruin the viewing experience with the officiating in that league yeah I, yeah I, I feel like it's, it's somewhere between uh, wrestling and a Ponzi scheme <laughs> I was just sitting there like, I'm not, I'm not going to, no, but it, the big thing is, you know, I, I got to, uh, you know, make sure I'm chill around my kids. And I was just like, what am I going to choose here, watching basketball or my kids? So I kind of chose my kids. So I like, uh, I realized that how I'm wired, I should just watch regular season games. You know, game 47, whatever this is, this is my speed. Monday, you win it, you lose it, it's no big deal. Do you find yourself in front of the kids when you're watching a game that you're invested in using language that you don't want to use? I stop myself. I usually get half of it out, and then my daughter goes, I heard that. You said a bad <laughs> word. It's always great when you're also playing, like, Connect Four or Candyland. <laughs> and somebody doesn't even get touched, and they just call a foul. I don't know. Whatever. I, I don't want to get involved in that. It, it's going to be a great show. <laughs> August 21. Little over, a little over two months away. So how do you get ready for this? I have to do a bunch of spots and make sure I have uh, my material together. So I don't know. I've never done anything like that. But I just feel like, you know, when I go to Boston, it's like that's where I grew up and everything. So I am them, they are me. So it isn't like a, uh, you know, if I was doing like here, I don't know what I would do. But I feel like I could do at least a half hour talking about being hammered at Fenway when I was younger. We used to get hammered and sit up here. We'd take over the stadium. 
back when they went, it was Edison Field. I remember way back in the day. Sure. A bunch of comedian friends of mine. We'd go up there and uh, have a few. Boston would take over the stands and stuff. But those days are over for me. You have totally cleaned up everything. Uh, not really, but I, I really not the boost. Oh my God! Did you see that guy? Came up Some, with him? No, there was the other guy who went down. He jumped up in the air, and I believe he landed on his uh, his backside. It looked like Hulk Hogan's finishing move, whatever he just <laughs> did, and he popped right back up. That was impressive. Bounded foul here by Renhefo. And as we chat with the great Bill Burr, is going to make history at Fenway Park, and make sure you get your tickets. Who else is uh, going to join you, by the way? Tony V. Tony V's going to do Tony V, the uh, Boston stand-up legend, actor. He was in that movie that won an Oscar. I don't know. You know, I've been so busy this year. He was in something that won an Oscar. Right? I think so. Aren't you in that, that world? Kind this of, past yeah. year? Yeah. It was in... Um, it was either before or after the slap, the movie won. <laughs> 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 kind of took the whole evening away from everybody. Yeah. That's the marking point. Yeah. Took a second for I'm that trying, to register I'm with trying, me. To, trying to think who won anything on that one. Now, right? <laughs> before um, or after the slap. I'm trying to think who won anything on that one. Now, right? <laughs> Before oh. or after the slap? Yeah, I can't remember, <laughs> but it was a movie, and Tony was in it, and I've always enjoyed, you know, his acting, and I and I think he's uh, one of the great stand-up comedians of all time. He taught me how to write on stage and all of that, and I've, you know, become great friends with him over the years. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a great time and smoke a cigar afterwards on that stage when the place is empty. Love it. Is another thing you're known for, and and you're making your directorial debut this year. Yeah, I did a movie for uh, Miramax called Old Dads. It's about guys my age that have kids. And uh, you don't think you're that old, and then you go to school, and you meet the other parents, you feel like a freak or whatever. So it's definitely a, uh, a comedy, so I'm editing that thing right now. That uh, one stung on the move, JBJ. Back toward down. the track. Yes, he does. Why is he playing center tonight? Is that new kid playing right field? Kike has the night off. Oh, he does? Okay. Jackie just back. So who's, Bill, who's playing right? You're the <laughs> uh, in oh, right field, it's a royal. Get just back. So Bill, who's, who's playing right? You're the uh, in Arroyo. right field. It's Arroyo tonight. Oh, it is. Arroyo. Thank you for joining us. It's always a pleasure. That's it. I sat in like an hour in traffic to just come all the way down here for this. I'd have you back. Not being told. I know. I know. Over, so. I wear the, this down here because it, it. kind of looks like a UCLA hat. <laughs> you can get. Yeah, these fans call. are lunatics down here. The colors are good though. It's all right. Brings out my eyes. You can say that, Tony. Bill Burr. It's, it's 2022. August 21. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> all right.